What's going on fellow band critics? I'm Steven and today right now we're gonna check out this Labor Day Classic Zero Quarter between Texas Southern University and Prairie View A&M. The footage you're gonna see in here is courtesy of A1 Media. Off the chain as usual, there will be a link down in the description below as well as in the cards at the top. Be sure to go watch the original video so you can see it in its entirety without any of my interruptions and subscribe to that channel if you have not already because my goodness, it is fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? The Stephen Holiday merch store is up and running and there is a link down in the description and there's a link in the cards at the top. There is everything from t-shirts to jerseys to book bags to coffee mugs, all kinds of stuff. Basically, this logo on a whole bunch of shit. All right, I'm excited to get right into this. This right here is the zero quarter between Texas Southern and Prairie View A&M from the Labor Day Classic 2022. So without any further ado, let's do what it do. Ha, huh, that rhymes. All right, let's get it, Prairie View. All right, let's turn off this canned music the bands are playing now. So if you are ever a DJ at an event and the bands are there and they're playing, turn that shit off. This, right? <laughs> oh Lord. That was good, that was good. We're gonna score the band, it's gonna be at the end. There are chapters in the video so you can navigate to whatever part you wanna see, so go to it if you wanna see it. So we'll score them all at the end. All right, here we go. Whoosh, Texas Southern. Under the direction of Brian Simmons. Are those raincoats? Yeah, the band's wearing raincoats. Okay. Okay, all right. I see you, ladies. My goodness, they are moving quickly over there. First initial impressions, the Texas Southern Band sounds a lot fuller than last year already. All right, let's go trombones. Or. It does sound like a Brian Simmons product. <laughs> I've noticed that all the bands that he's in front of have this same kind of sound. Like the Regulators last year, definitely not this year, but last year. I hear this sound coming through right here. And I noticed that Southern sounds a little bit darker now because he has like a brighter sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Trumpet, take it easy. But not bad, not bad. All right, all right. Okay. We're going to say the scores for the end there, but all right.
I see that the trumpets in Texas like hanging over. <laughs> I appreciate those dynamics. I hear mellows. Alright, rough around the edges. I'm hearing some good stuff, hearing some nice power, but it's not that clean, like the beginning and the ending parts. There's some stuff in between the cracks there. You know, so clean it up. But a good powerful sound, but clean it up. We hear you, trumpet. Congratulations. Nice tubas. Not bad, not bad. I like the power, the hypeness is there. It sounds like the band is ready to be unleashed. You know, they've been waiting. But let's check the intonation there on some stuff. <laughs> that's where I like, that's what the faces are in case if you see me making some weird faces. Yes, this definitely is a new wave at Texas Southern because it sounds totally different. But good job, though. I know it's raining woodwinds, but... Y'all play woodwind, so.
All right, Texas Southern, what do you got? <laughs> Texas Southern is cleaner, much cleaner. Yeah. For me, the way uh, Brian Simmons writes his music, or whoever's writing the music over there, uh, mostly Brian Simmons, I guess, I don't know. Like you have to have good articulation for it to sound good anyway, because the way he writes it, and y'all have it. Y'all sound clean. I think. Yeah. The ladies are killing it over here. It's just a little bit hard to see them with the, the colors and stuff, but they are, <laughs> they are there. I hear you up there, percussion. Have a nice little review at the end. But prayer of you all out. I got some volume. Certain parts of the song. I know the wood ones add a lot of color. I know that. But I don't hear them today. <laughs> I think they have waterproof horns by now that still sound just as good as the real ones. Like just bands in general. And it's a phrase, y'all. Come on. change keys at the end? Hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> oh, they took the raincoats off. All right.
Okay, Will wins. Okay. Had a lot going on right there in that song. <laughs> this is the zero quarter? Okay. I know they don't sound tired. Nice dynamics. I like the attitude Texas Southern has more than Prairie View. Like, it feels like Texas Southern's playing at home and Prairie View's playing like they're the away team. Or... Ooh, watch those attacks. Starting to sound like the old Texas Southern. Oh, this is that song I played last week. Sounds good. I'm just curious, y'all gonna have enough gas by the fifth quarter? This is the zero quarter, right? And I wanna hear no excuses. Oh, we're saving, we're saving, no, no, no. Put 100% into every single note. Oh God, Tubas. This one's pretty rough, y'all, outside. It sounded better last week. The arrangement's off the chain. The power, amazing. For Texas Southern this year, you know. And y'all's mascot, is that y'all the Tigers? <laughs> I don't know why I thought the school's mascot was a wave. That's just a band. Come on, Tubas. Okay. If you love bands like I do and enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more super awesome, great, 
kick ass content. All right, so there you have it. That was the zero quarter at Texas Southern and Prairie View, and it looked like there was some uh, delay happened. I heard someone on the microphone saying, "Hey guys, get out the stadium, everyone! It's lightning or something." So that like that guy to cut short there. But I think Texas played two extra songs, or they played a song back to back, so they're gonna have like one more extra song than Prairie View played there. And yeah, so before I get to the actual little scores there in the round, because I'm just gonna score them by the round on this one, Prairie View arrangements. Let's come up to like a more difficulty level. It feels like the arrangements are very simple. Um, like the music sounds good but it, it sounds very simple as compared to other college bands. That's just that. You all have a nice sound. It's interesting. I know that it was raining or whatever and the Woodwinds didn't have a chance to really shine and play anything, but decent sound. You guys are loud. The technicality is all over the place. I'm hearing all this stuff in between the cracks and it seems like the band knows the loud parts, especially A1 Media's footage here. You definitely hear that because the song sounds so good on one part. Then all of a sudden, it's just like some... Texas Southern, okay, Texas Southern, you all sound like Brian Simmons' band now. So now I hear the new sound that's gonna be Texas Southern. And when I say Brian Simmons, it's that same sound, the way he arranges, the way he teaches, got good stuff, great stuff. He has a bright sound, in my opinion, like all his arrangements are more on the brighter side, which cuts through in the stadium. So it's very live, very amped up and stuff like that. I know it was zero quarter, so I'm assuming all the bands were fresh, but it sounded like Texas Southern was getting tired on some parts and it's a zero quarter. But then again, that could be a number of things. So it sounded like that to me, but how does it sound to you all? For the most part, I'm excited for the new wave. And I did make a joke there saying that I, I didn't really realize that Texas Southern were the Tigers or knew what the mascot was. And I, <laughs> I always thought the whole school was just a big wave, but that's clearly just the ocean of soul there. So I thought that was kind of funny. Stop it. Get some help. But let's get into the scores here. Let's do it. It's just gonna be going by the rounds. You can get zero, you can get a five. And however many rounds it was, I think it was like, I think it was like six rounds, but I think it was like uh, they only had really four where both bands played. And here are the scores for the zero quarter between Prairie View A&M University and Texas Southern University. Round one, Prairie View three, Texas four. Round two, Prairie View three, Texas four. Round three, Prairie View three, Texas four. Round four, Prairie View three, Texas four. And if that was a round five, round five, Prairie View didn't play anything. So that's nothing there and Texas played something, and that's a four. This brings total score to Prairie View. Okay, so they have it. These are my scores. What are yours? When this video gets to 50 likes, we'll do the fifth quarter, because that'll let me know that you guys care enough to see the fifth quarter review. <laughs> let me know what you all think about Texas Southern during this battle in the zero quarter, and what are your thoughts on Prairie View? Did you hear what I heard when it comes to the little parts in between the cracks? Or am I just tripping? Let me know. Comment down below. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching the show. We really appreciate it. If you would like to make a request and see behind the scenes stuff, consider becoming a producer. Do that by hitting the join button. And if you want to throw a donation our way, hit that thanks button. These buttons are located right next to the subscribe button. So hit that one too. If you like this video, there are hundreds more on the channel. So subscribe to see more content. <laughs>